Hey guys, it is episode 17 of the Friends Let's Play. Yesterday we invaded the USSR and uh, we'll see what has happened. Before we get to that front, I will check out Iberia. As you can see, well, we basically won. We have a bunch of units here still. Uh, I'm, I guess we're just gonna, you know, clean the rest of this up. There's really not that much. Just a couple of provinces. So we're gonna take this hopefully successfully. I mean, I think their army is, you know, gone. Like, they have a navy, sorta. It's only a, like, this is a cruiser. It's level 2. And they have something here, but that's not really a, what I'd consider a navy, you know. I'm gonna send a couple of units from here too. To take these two provinces. Anyway, let's uh, look at Russia. And, uh, ooh, damn, alright. Uh, that's not bad. They, I think they got back Moscow. But uh, we kind of did a really blitzkrieg them here. We own Ukraine. Uh, they have some units here still, and, you know, some here. Um, but we're basically, you know, next to the Urals. Which is great, of course, you know. That's where we wanted to get. Seems like China might be able to get them. Looks like we won't. But that's alright. I'm gonna take these units out and go here. Just clean the rest of this up, really. Uh, a lot is gonna revolt. Like, I have no doubt in that. But, you know, I guess that has to happen, you know. I'm gonna take some motorized here. I think they're gonna be enough. I don't really need artillery. And I'm just gonna go around here. Really shouldn't be hard. These units are very fast, very powerful. They should be able to take everything really quickly. But the Soviets do have a lot of units. You can see, like, they're chasing us everywhere. Their army isn't very powerful, but uh, they certainly have the numbers. Let's look at the casualties. You can see uh, they only have about a third more than us, which is not that much. I mean, this is the first time I'm active uh, on this game since, you know, the last time I played, which was the last episode when I recorded, right? So... Yeah, but it went pretty well considering that being, you know, a fact. We're gonna go here try to take Sarato too. I think we'll be successful in cutting off the Chinese over here though. Which is what's really important. Because I don't want to, to give them Western Russia, you know. Like that's the land I want exactly, so. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna use the rest of these units we have here on the, on the front here in Poland. We're gonna try to take the rest of this what we haven't captured. Leningrad, Vologda and uh, Arkhangelsk, I guess. Those are the main, main places, really. And their surroundings, of course. These provinces, not gonna let them, you know, stay under Soviet control. Go to Murmansk, too, over here to Kola. And there we go. We'll see how that goes. It should go pretty well, though. We're gonna fight them here, too. There we go. There's gonna be a lot of revolts, I have no doubt in that. Because, you know, th this is a lot of land, a lot of provinces. Their morale is low at 25%. So each of these provinces has a chance of 14% to rebel, probably back to the Soviets. Which is, you know, quite the chance, honestly. I'm gonna try to capture Moscow over here too by bombing it with my artillery. Uh, gonna want to bring some more units to that area though. So let's send this medium tank there too, I guess. And we have enough units to invade Bulgaria, but I won't because I think it will lower my uh, popularity even more, possibly making Greece declare war on me and maybe even Turkey, which I definitely don't want right now considering my situation, you know, I'm invading the Soviet Union and that front is already, you know, not too easy, so we're gonna need to, you know, play at least pretty safe, at least safer than usual. But yeah, this is about the front, we lost a lot of units there, I think, uh, but yeah, let's look at this... Uh, Diplomacy, so let's stay peaceful. There's plenty for both of us uh, Indeed, I would like to ask you to join me in Brazil. I know you may be against uh, the idea However, my losses have been replaced and improved. I am fully at peace with Tibet and China However, I am more than capable of holding an invasion attempt. They may throw at me and I am now moving on to attack other nations I would rather you be on my side than theirs What do you say? Well, you know, this is peace like Tibet in India are active? Like what? I mean, I guess, and I could join them. I guess that would be beneficial, especially, uh, you know, a safer front. You know, I wouldn't have to worry about a possible uh, invasion from Brazil, you know, that's always a possibility. So that'd be great. I'm gonna restart production again, see, you know, we kind of stopped for a bit. We have 238 units, so yeah, front reports, there's plenty of them. Out of provinces gained, a lot lost, and you know, whatnot. Built a couple of units, really not much at all, just a couple. 
but there's a lot of these, alright. Let's look at stock market prices, well food and goods are extremely cheap, holy hell I'm gonna buy a lot of those goods, like all of them, there we go, that's beautiful, and uh, let's buy some metal too, and I think we're good with everything else, we have the food, we have, you know, the oil and rare materials, we have some SP artillery here, some units, uh, like, I have a lot of SP artillery but not enough tanks and whatnot, so yeah, I'm gonna send these two mediums over to like Moscow, because why not, I want them for reinforcements and uh, sure, this one too. Hopefully uh, they'll be able to actually take Moscow. Research wise, I think I'm gonna stop researching. Uh, I don't exactly see a need to. I can't get level 5 median tanks. L sure, let's do that, let's do it. And uh, level 6 motorized too, why not I guess. And uh, we're gonna restart production. So we're just gonna look at these. I think we're gonna have a... More likely we'll have a resource problem from making so many uh, units then we will need any more uh, production centers so let's use these uh, already level 5 barracks to build motorized infantry let's repair the ones needed though there we go and uh, well, let's just use all of them to make a lot of motorized so we're gonna go to production and we're just gonna spam a lot like as many as we can of course just add the build queue there we go I don't want to you know spend my time getting online all the time to restart production you know and on uh, ordinance we're gonna do just about the same we have a lot less of these it seems but that's all right we actually don't really need that much more artillery we already have a lot we're actually lacking on motorized as well as median tanks not so much uh, ordinance you know so here we go we're gonna make a lot of ordinance too because why not production times are pretty low so that's great and those are star level, those are very good. Let's go to tank plants too. And we're just gonna try to make a lot. Like a lot, a lot. How about all of these? That's a lot. Yeah, that's no joke. Let's uh, repair them to level 5, of course. Level 5 tank plants. And let's make a lot, as many as we can, of these medium tanks. That's gonna be a lot of metal, a lot of oil. But, uh, you know, we're gonna be able to make a lot still. We sure will. We can buy some, you know, also, so there we go, that's some oil, and we're really never gonna need some more rare materials. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode, uh, we, we definitely won here in the Soviet Union, there's some things to worry about still, and you know, take out Moscow and the rest of their country, but seems like we'll be able to get what we actually wanted. After this is done, I'm, well, my plan is only gonna be to take uh, Bulgaria, Greece and Istanbul over here, probably Denmark in the north and uh, the Baltics too, and the, I, I won't get into Scandinavia, I really see no need. I'm also gonna try to clean the rest of this up, I don't know what's happening here, it's, it might be like one unit or something, but let's just go ahead and take it, I guess. They're definitely not gonna beat us. Anyway, that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys with the next one. See you then.